USDA has a similar program, maybe a little easier to maneuver. And for those of you that are in the South, I think it's a perfect program. A lot of us know about the black farmers. They got a raw deal, and we've been fighting that battle for 60 plus years. Uh, we went to Buford uh, at an invitation of the chamber president there, uh, and I want him to tell a little bit about what happened uh, with his chamber out there. And it's a, I think, a hopefully a good story. <laughs> uh, we fight for it. <laughs> what, what happens with us, we were fortunate enough to get a person uh, to come to our chamber from the D.C. area who uh, was good at writing grants. And uh, we discovered that the USDA had a, a grant out there for loans, uh, for making microloans. So uh, we had about two people on our board who had worked uh, in the banking industry. So there was a, a little uh, leeway there to where we didn't have to forego, forego being uh, a, a lender because we had banking experience on our board. So we wrote the grants uh, for $375,000, $40,000 being administration uh, fee to help run the program. Uh, so we were awarded the, um, uh, the grant uh, last November. But going through the process and all the getting banks to accept the control agreement, it took us a long time to get to the point or, or find a bank that would uh, forego being the first uh, uh, first uh, lender uh, taking first place rather than uh, second place. So the, U the USDA wanted to take first place over the bank, but the banking policy says I want to have the first, uh, first dibs if something goes wrong. But anyway, we're in the process, but we, we started the training uh, of the uh, possible uh, lenders. Uh, we had a six-week program that they had to go through, and it was talking about paying back. This is not a grant. You have to pay back. <coughs> so we get the money at a 2% rate, and we'll lend it out for seven and three quarters up to nine and three quarters. We have, we'll have an application fee. Right now, we have three applicants, particular applicants that we'll be lending to within the next month. Uh, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to qualify uh, the folk who would be borrowing the money. So we will have programs on a, uh, about every, I guess every two to three months uh, to where we could get the um, borrowers qualified uh, to, to get the money. So that's, that's where we are. Hopefully, we'll make those, those loans within the next uh, month. But we do have three good potential borrowers. So we're looking forward to uh, uh, getting that money out and getting that uh, getting the cash flow back into the banks. And this is a process, but the main process we want to uh, uh, establish was the payback part. Because uh, people hear, oh, I got it. you guys got a grant. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't have to pay that back. <laughs> uh, we are making sure, and we are helping them in the process. We don't write a business plan, but, but when they finish, they'll be able to, to do their own uh, business plan. So, that's, yes, ma'am. Does, does this get recorded somewhere on your credit score, the payback? That, that's good. We, we had not looked at that, but we are not looking at credit scores. But we will, that, that's a good, uh, we will report that back to the credit agency. That's a good uh, good point. Yeah. But we're not looking at credit scores at this point. Well, we're not really, because normally uh, the, the potential borrowers will have bad credit. So it's no need of us really looking at this. <laughs> 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 